Hello everyone, it's 100 Runescapes, back again with a new Terraria video, and um, today's actually kind of a different Terraria video. We're gonna fight Eye of Cthulhu, but the catch is that we're gonna fight it with this wooden armor and only these shurikens, um, and a few potions as well. Um, so what you'll need is the suspicious looking eye. This can be crafted at a demon altar or the crimson altar thing in the corruption or crimson area. Um, you just need six lenses that you can get from killing the demon eyes around at night. And yeah, it's not that bad. Um, you, you might need a flat area, especially if you're fighting it under such harsh conditions. Uh, like I am. We've got the guide sniping some slimes here, which is kind of funny. Yeah, so you, you will need a little flat area, and you also need these platforms. And these platforms will be used for uh, dodging out Cthulhu when he charges, or it charges, rather. So yeah, um, it will need to be nighttime, so let's make it nighttime. And yeah, we should get, be good here, let's see. There we go. Okay, made it nighttime, and I threw a shuriken on accident. And yeah, um... Let's get started. Actually, let's let's clear out these slimes here. Clear out these guys just so they don't interfere at all. All right, we're good. All right, let's go. Where is it? There it is. Yeah. So the objective of this video is to teach you how to fight this boss and how to kill it. Well, just like start. Well, you're just like starting off the game. So having like wooden armor, some shurikens you found around the world, or um, bought by the merchant, which is really easy to get. And you can get the merchant by having one gold and uh, having a suitable location for him to come in. And you should come in. We got a we got a demon eye. Yeah. Sometimes other enemies will spawn in naturally. It's just normal thing. Can't really do much about it, but they're not that bad to avoid. And you want to watch, because Cthulhu will shoot these little eyes, the tiny demon eyes, which you can one-shot. Uh, whatever weapon you use, I believe, but... Yeah, you want to watch out, because we'll sneak up from the ground like that one just did. But we got him, so we're good. Yeah, so we're just gonna keep on spraying these shurikens at him. Try to take him out here. Keep on juking his shots, or trying to, at least. Yeah, so let's keep on spamming. Yeah, all you want to do is try to avoid getting hit as much as possible and um, jump up and down so that you can mess up his flight pattern and he won't be able to hit you when he charges, or as much at least. Do Come out of the ground, you bugger. Yeah, just keep on jumping up and down and you should be fine. Dude, oh, guy. Ow. Oh, he's coming. He's coming for me. How's his health doing? Uh, he's almost half, I believe, into his next formation. Do, 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 do. Let's heal up right there. We'll take our first potion, I think. Yeah, first potion. Yeah, you won't really need much, though, for this fight. It does get quite uh, harder when he switches into his second stage, because he does a lot more damage and rushes a lot more. But he does take more damage. That is one thing, I believe. We'll see. He's taking like three to five damage here, and sometimes the crit, a random crit in there. Okay, now he's switching. Now he should take more. Oh no, he doesn't. Oh yes, he does. He actually takes like nine. So yeah, he gets pretty weak. You should be able to kill him really quick here. A zombie in the way. Yeah, <laughs> the guide shot an arrow. Got to dodge here. Go up. He's gonna charge, and we're good. Gonna keep on going. We almost got him. He's down to 500 health here. Close enough. Or almost. Okay, we're gonna use another potion just to be sure. Oh, dang it. I messed that up. Oh, it's gonna be a close fight. Oh. Okay, we got him. Whew, that was close. We got hit a bunch. And yeah, now we got his loot. We actually ended up getting a little mask that you can wear, so that's kind of funny. And yeah, so he drops, um, looks like, um, we used two or three of those, so... No, we used four. So he drops around, like, twelve lesser healing potions. So it looks like you will use about 
let's say, let's say you should need about 300 shurikens, depending on how good you are at hitting. And you also get some crimtain ore. Yeah, so, also these seeds, which are kind of garbage, but yeah. So yeah, um, in the end, I can conclude that this fight is, um, it's pretty hard to do, not gonna lie with this challenge, but you will need, like, three potions I think I used during it, and like 300 shurikens, which are pretty easy to get and buy, because they're really cheap, and you will need some wooden armor, along with the stuff I got here. But yeah, um, it was a pretty fun video to r record and make. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, I hope it helps you out with early game Cthulhu fighting, and yeah, um, stay tuned, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time.